Top boxes, yeah, they're geeky. But I'll tell you what, whether you're a commuter or a tourer, it's nice to have waterproof, lockable storage on your motorcycle. It's also one of the easiest things to install. We're gonna walk you through the process of putting an SW Motec steel top rack on our R1200GS, mates to this track's top box. It's one of the easiest installations you're gonna see. We're gonna walk you through it step by step. So this particular installation actually uses two pieces to the top rack. In this case, it uses an adapter plate that goes directly onto the motorcycle, and then the steel top rack itself, which of course will mate to the uh, luggage. Depending on your application, you may or may not have one of these. Some of these actually bolt directly to the uh, top luggage racks on the bikes through spacers or other hardware. Kind of depends on what bike you're starting with. All right, so where we begin is removing these four screws. And our top adapter rack will actually fit into the recesses that uh, are vacated by these screws. Now, an important point, you're going to want to put these screws somewhere where you're going to know where they are because if you want to keep the top rack for something else and you want to sell your bike, you're going to need these. So go through your bag of hardware and find the two different kinds of spacers. You need to identify them at this step. One set of spacers has a little countersink in it. The other is basically cylindrical. The one you want for this step are the four cylindrical ones. Set the countersunk ones aside. So now that I've set the uh, spacers in place, the next step is going to be to locate the uh, intermediate rack. Now, before we do that, we want to find the correct hardware. So we've got a selection of these four button head screws. Those are going to be our next step. Now, good practices. We want to hit these with a little bit of blue Loctite. Blue Loctite. We want to get these off at some point, but we don't want them coming off. Doesn't require a lot, just a little bit on the threads. And we'll go pick that one up in a minute. All right, one more thing about these button heads. You've got to be a little bit careful. Because they're low profile, the hex depth is actually fairly shallow. If you get your tool slightly off and you start to torque it, you'll definitely round it out. These are the fasteners you need to take your time with and be careful. Okay, that's our intermediate rack. Next step is going to be to fit the top rack. Remember those little spacers with the countersunk you had before? Going to come back in and have some fun with these guys. So, this is where it gets interesting. You're going to have to do a little bit of juggling. It's easier if you start the front one. A little bit of Loctite. Turn that over. Center it right at the front. Drop it in and just get a little bit of the thread going. You want to be able to get access to the rest, but you want to keep the plate from moving around. Now that I've torqued all the hardware that from the top plate to the intermediate plate, the next step is to hook up the hardware that will attach the top box. Now these plates are set up for a variety of patterns and they will support SW Motec, GV, and a number of other brands depending on the adapter kit that you buy. In this case, we're using the adapter kit for the SW Motec track system, which consists of four small spools and a latch at the back. One thing I should mention is that these spools to go in, together in a certain way, it's actually pretty easy. The black part on top, match the countersink to the stainless part, screw goes to the top. All right, so the last piece of the puzzle is to install the, uh, the latch mechanism here. And uh, we're just gonna drop this on top. There's two screws that go through. One of the recommendations is you put it on loose at this point because there's a little bit of a fore and aft adjustment and we're gonna double check that when we actually put the case on. This does not require Loctite because we have locking nuts. Again, put this on, get it snug so that it's about halfway, and we'll refine that as we put the actual top box on. There's a little bit of variation. All right, so I've just installed the latch. I got it just loose enough that we can move it around uh, to check the fit, but it's not so loose that it goes all over the place on its own. Now we're gonna put the top box on and see how the latch actually fits. Slides nicely. I want to check the latch. It should have a moderate amount of over center. Shouldn't really have to force it. Shouldn't also be loose. That actually felt pretty good. So I'll go back in and, and tighten up that hardware. The uh, last step is to put lock sets in this particular bike uh, and we're good to go. And it's always recommended after you've ridden with the bike for a couple hundred miles, double check all the hardware, make sure nothing is loosened up and of course keep an eye on it on long trips and whatnot. The SW Motec luggage kit, including steel top racks and adapters, are available for a wide range of motorcycles. Check out what we have at twistedthrottle.com.